Russia deserves to be proud of the Su-57 stealth fighter. The Su-57 can reach speeds of Mach 2 and, similar to the F-22, operates on supercruise technology, meaning the ability to maintain supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners. Tactically, both the Su-57 and F-22 are designed to use stealth, combat maneuverability, and dogfighting capabilities to deal with threats that may arise should the aircraft be detected. Advanced surveillance radar, for example, might be able to detect that something is there but not be able to track, pinpoint, and destroy an aircraft with an engagement radar. Russian military officials have announced that the recent fifth-generation Su-57 stealth fighter meets almost all the performance requirements specified during state testing, raising questions about the true state of its operational sophistication. A report in India, Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov stated that during state tests, the Su-57 fighter has fully confirmed almost all the requirements of its performance specifications. That the state contract for the delivery of 76 aircraft is in accordance with the supply schedule, which shows progress with the production of Russian aircraft. Exactly what requirements are demonstrated, and in what capacity or to what extent various performance parameters are achieved may be somewhat unclear. The twin-engine stealth fighter, intended to rival the US F-22, does exhibit a mixed wing-body stealth configuration with no radar-detectable hard edges, contours, or protrusions. The aircraft may appear hidden to the naked eye, but the two-engine exhaust tubes stand out somewhat, presenting a shape or configuration that is potentially visible to advanced radar technology. Also, perhaps more importantly, the apparent size of the hot exhaust might raise questions about its heat signature. The use of composite materials and advanced technology, improved aerodynamics and reduced engine heat minimize radio frequency, optical and infrared visibility. All of these features significantly increase the combat effectiveness of the aircraft, the Sukhoi maker said in a statement. Interestingly in comparison, a look at the F-22's exhaust shows that they are much more mixed horizontally with the fuselage than the Su-57's, suggesting that it may indeed have superior heat reduction techniques as well as a more subtle form and hidden behind. To destroy the enemy, not purely stealth as was the case with stealth bombers such as the B-2 or B-21. Tactically, both the Su-57 and F-22 are engineered to use stealth, combat maneuverability, and dogfighting capabilities to deal with threats that may arise should the aircraft be detected. An advanced surveillance radar, for example, might be able to detect that something is over there but cannot track, pinpoint, and destroy an aircraft with an engagement radar. Also, while much is unknown about the Su-57, it most likely includes composite radar-absorbing materials such as the F-35 and F-22.
The Su-57 can reportedly reach speeds of Mach 2 and, similar to the F-22, operates on supercruise technology, meaning the ability to maintain supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners. That the Su-57 was engineered with 12 weapon hardpoints, including 6 internal and 6 external. The data also lists a long arsenal to include anti-ship missiles, air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and guided bombs. <laughs>